Don't do that. Oh. Rhubarb is native to China. It was brought to Europe in... We get off my notes? It was brought to Europe in the 1600s. Rhubarb is part of the buckwheat family. It's uh, an herbal remedy. It's used as what's called a purgative, which I think that means it, um, it cleans your intestinal system out, I believe. Uh, we eat it now. We usually don't use it as a medicinal thing, but you never know with this day and age. Now rhubarb, rhubarb will grow in any garden soil, but rhubarb really, really loves manure. This is an old dairy barn, and this is the gizmo that they had to uh, have the buckets come along there, and it would dump the manure right in this pile right here. So the troughs would come out along this guide, right to the end here, and they would dump it. And here now we've got some great rhubarb. This is the flower stalk of rhubarb. Uh, you generally want to cut this off because what you're doing is basically by growing all these seeds you're taking energy away from growing stalks and in rhubarb you eat the stalk so that's what we want to grow well. You can save seed from your rhubarb and plant it but you know it just grows like a weed anyway so I don't know if you want to do it fine. Um, but basically we just take and we cut the bottom of this thing off And then you just throw it in your compost pile and it's set. There's uh, different kinds of rhubarb. There's a rhubarb that has a really red stem. Ours here has kind of a greenish stem. Sometimes it has red at the bottom. Sometimes it's red all the way through. You know, it's kind of a coin toss. There are different varieties, but this rhubarb was growing here uh, when we moved in and I got a little bit more from my neighbor down the road and I think it's the same plant. I think it's called a variety called McDonald, but I could be wrong about that. When you want to harvest rhubarb, you pull it, you don't, you don't cut it, you pull it at the base. So you basically want to get down as close as you can to the base and you work this back and forth like this and it comes out. But see it comes out nice and clean. This is the base of the stem and you can just take that and trim that off. You want to trim off the leaves. The leaves are poisonous. They're not deadly poisonous like people think, at least in my opinion. Um, they have oxalic acid in them and it's high concentrations. You can compost it, you can just chop it up, put it in your compost pile and it'll break down. You, want, you, you don't want your dogs eating it, you don't want to eat it, it'll probably make you ill. Uh, I don't think it'll kill you, but it'll give you a, a heck of a stomach ache. But this is what we want, we want a nice clean stalk, we'll harvest a bunch of these and then we'll go into the kitchen and we'll cook something up. Hey, put that down, hey. So to melt butter, I've never been very good at this, but I'm doing it one-handed. Um, I take this, I put it in the microwave. I bought these things at the food co-op, which are these little plasticky cover things that keep things from melting and spitting all over the microwave. So let's try this. That goes on the top. Ow. Okay, we'll, we'll say that's melted. So all this goes in to a bowl and gets mixed. We have melted butter. That's one stick of melted butter. We got one cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of oats, and one cup of flour and one teaspoon cinnamon. I use this tool, it's called a fork. I think it works really well. And the fork works. We've got an eight inch square baking dish and we're gonna butter it. It's not too hard, just rub it around. Oh man. Hey. So we're gonna take half of our oatmeal, brown sugar, butter, flour, cinnamon mixture and put that in the bottom. And we're gonna press that down. We're gonna need four cups of sliced rhubarb. There's no perfect way to measure rhubarb, so I, you know, I just use a Pyrex and I guess at it. Put this in your mouth and chew, okay? We have one cup of sugar, one cup of water, two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm using arrowroot. Uh, which is about the same thing, it's just a little different. 
I don't want to buy a whole big box of cornstarch, so I just bought a little bag of uh, arrowroot from the food co-op. It works just as well. So we're going to cook this until it's clear. I, I guess this is clear. It doesn't look very clear, but we're, really what's happened is we dissolved the sugar in the water and put cornstarch in there. So cornstarch is a thickener, so you can see, well, you really can't tell, but the, it's thick. So we're going to pour this over our rhubarb mixture. Rhubarb is really tart, so it needs a sweetener, and sugar and brown sugar work really well for that. So after we've added the sugar mixture, we're going to add in the remaining butter, oatmeal, brown sugar mixture. Okay, a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes, and let's see what happens. Not bad. A little bit too much liquid. We could have had it cooked down a little bit more, I think. But, um, mm, that's really good. Look there. Look there. <laughs>